What are the balls and chains on the back of Israeli tanks actually for? Well, to start, they're not the Israeli form of truck nuts. This all goes back to how Russian rocket-propelled grenades are fused. All right, let's go to my kitchen. I wanna show you something. You know that clicking sound that you hear when you turn on your stove? Well, that's a piezoelectric generator. It's basically a hammer that's striking a crystal trying to produce a spark. Anti-tank versions of the RPG-7 have a piezoelectric fuse at the tip. So if you damage that fuse with something that's heavy, but not so heavy that it causes the whole thing to detonate, then the warhead might fail to detonate or detonate poorly. And they're balls on chains because it allows the turret to freely move. Hey, one more thing. It's almost Christmas. Don't get a crappy present this year. Go to the knifehandco.com and get your very own Ryan Macbeth in action figure and trading card. So tell your mom to put me under your tree this year.